and welcome to the new to review and discussion podcast. I am your host from Sanzo, and in today's episode, I have the terror with me. Norman, you threw off my groove. I was killing it in this game. Sorry, you're. Maybe you should get better and, and not be a noob. Excuse me, do you want to go? <laughs> yeah, let's be Tetris. Yeah, 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 Tetris. All right, let's go. I'll bring sure I'll, I'll win. <laughs> no. <Nuh-uh. laughs> I can de-spin you all day long. Alright, let's go. <laughs> you don't have a switch. Oh, oh sad. <laughs> but anywho, as you can clearly tell, it's just me and Kara again. And, well, in this week's episode, we're just gonna kick back and relax by talking about video games we've been playing and, well, yeah, just talk about the games that we've been playing and what we think about them. Because... Clearly, you we are normal people who enjoy doing things other than ponies. Oh, well, hold on. Like, who said we were normal people? I thought we were creatures. Yeah, I mean, give or take, you know. Some <laughs> people like to call themselves people. Some people like to call themselves creatures. And some people like to call themselves griffs. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the games that we've been playing. So... Tara, what have you been playing, man? Like, what is in your PlayStation slash PC? I also have a Switch, so I don't know what you're ah. talking about. Just PlayStation and PC. I don't know. I mean, we haven't... Okay, you know what? I'm going to take it back for a bit. So, what do we have in terms of consoles and gaming devices? So, what do you have? Oh, well, I have a PC. I have a PlayStation. I have an Xbox One. I have a Switch. Oh wow, you have all of them. Yeah, not not to toot my own horn or anything. Oh, interesting, interesting. Maybe I can really ask you a few questions about the X-Bone. The X-Bone? Yeah. I think you mean Xbox. I know. That's how... Okay, have you ever noticed if you spell X-Box? Oh, I see what you mean. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So, (laughs) X-Bone. But anywho, how is that, man? Like... When did you got it and... Yeah, when did you got it? Like, did you got it at launch? Or this is the second or third model? You know what? I've had it for... I had it for years, so I can't exactly remember when I first got it. So, it's easy to ask. Like, did you got it when it came with a Connect? You know what? It's been so long! <laughs> um, no, I, I don't think I... No, I don't, I don't think I, rem- I got it with the Connect. Because I know there's the... Connect? <laughs> that, that, let me finish... <laughs> I have the Connect, but I think it was only for the 360. Not the x one one? No. Ah, so basically you may have got it on the second or third rendition where they ditched the Connect. Because you know, right, like in the early days of the X-Bone, uh, you were forced to equip the Connect to play games with it. Like, you can use it as a voice thingy where you can say, X bone play game or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like it, it was one of those things where back in the days that's what they were doing. But clearly the fans hated it and they say we want no part of this. Yeah, my my Xbox when or sorry X bone didn't come <laughs> with the Connect. <laughs> you, you can call it Xbox One if you want to. I'm just teasing you, man. No, oh, I know you are. <laughs> but what have you been playing on the Xbox One, man? Well, I've been playing uh, Grand Theft Auto, I've been playing um, Call of Duty, I've been playing Cuphead. Oh, Cuphead. So, why did you want to buy the Xbox One? Oh, because most of my friends had the Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've been peer pressured to it. Oh, no. Well, it's not that I've been peer pressured to it. I've been having Xbox ever since the Xbox 360. I mean, I never had the original Xbox, but I know that my brother and my cousins had it, and now I got it. Oh, yay. Awesomeness. Uh, you know, honestly, I, I don't like the Xbox 360. I hate that console. <laughs> and it's not because it didn't have any good games or it was lame, PlayStation is better and whatnot. No, 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 no. The only fact that I hated the Xbox... Sorry, the Xbox 360, yes. Uh, I hated the 360 was because... The simple fact that if it rate ring on me, I had to go across the border to uh, Singapore just to 
fix it for warranty. And it happened to me a few times. And in all honesty, just bringing my console across the pond just to fix it was not worth it. Mm-hmm. I had a feeling you were going to mention about the Red Wing too. Oh, I, I got the Elite, like the Xbox 360 Elite, the first one where it was black and whatnot. And it was a fun and awesome console. It had a lot of good games. I remember playing Mass Effect on it, uh, Halo 3. Uh, what else did I play? I, Devil May Cry 4, was it? Yeah, and so on. But the Red Ring issue for me really hurt it like it made me question my life decisions oh i didn't know that that would leave such an impact on you here's the thing like in a situation where you really want to support the console but the console was not supported locally you you, here's the thing uh you just mentioned yourself buying an xbox 360 but it's not supported in canada uh, if it broke, you need to go across the pond to the States to fix it. How would you feel? Like, how how would you feel about that point? I understand. I'd, I'd probably feel the same way. Be like, I'm starting to question too. Why did I get this in the first place? Yeah. And for me personally, PlayStation all the way just because of its uh, maintenance and whatnot. Because if it broke, okay, I know way to send it for maintenance. It's uh, here local in my country, and I know where to do it. So, yeah, I just send it there to the PlayStation Center, whatever it is, and I'll get it fixed. it would uh-huh. take me a few weeks to get it back, but hey, at least I don't need to go across the pond to fix it. <laughs> so, wait, did you call it at the PlayStation Center? Uh, it's one of the Sony centers, like um, the Sony uh, repair or warranty things. Like, we have this one area where it's full of electronical companies like from your sony to your samsung to your whatever it is that they do warranty uh claims Hmm. i thought you were just referencing uh pokemon center but calling it the playstation centers oh uh in in all honesty we have a sony center here like (laughs) the place um they sell all sony products (laughs) oh wow I think you should. I think the Sony Center is kind of international. Hmm, I don't recall ever seeing a Sony Center around here, unless that's just me because I probably don't go out a lot. Or probably you guys don't really need one since you have the Best Buy, Walmart, and whatever you have. That's true. Yeah, probably. But uh, we've been the, <laughs> we've been going off. So um, mostly you've been playing a lot of shooters on the X Bone. Uh, any other games like? Did you fully utilize it with the what you call this uh, arc- uh, Xbox Live Arcade and whatnot? Mm, kind of. Most games, I mean, nowadays they're pretty expensive, and mm. I guess nowadays you could just simply buy a game online without even having to get off your couch. And I got some <laughs> games like that where I just bought them because another thing too is that some games go on sale, but only digitally and not. Physically, so physically, that's yeah. probably another reason why people get so much games because of the sales they do. <laughs> I was about to ask, are you a physical or digital person? It depends on what game. <clears throat> <laughs> all right, all right. Like, if it's a game that I really like, like, say, for example, on the Switch, uh, I could have bought in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate phys- uh, digitally, but, you know, I-, I liked Smash Bros. ever since the N64, so I bought the hard copy just to add to my collection. But for the Switch case, and okay, also Xbox One and all of your consoles, uh, isn't it um, eating up a lot of hard disk space? Because if you, uh, what you call this, buy games digitally, you need to download them and save it on your hard drive. For the PlayStation and Xbox, I think you can upgrade your hard disk to 1 tera, 2 tera, so that's not a big issue. Why would there be two of me? terabytes (laughs) (laughs) terabytes <laughs> <laughs> oh you uh, but for the switch uh, how big is your uh, memory card uh i don't have it on me but it's pretty big like i got i got a lot of games on there uh i, do- I digitally downloaded some and i got some room there okay because i i always thought that 
the hard disk space or the flash card is always the problem for the Switch because uh, you have to get a huge hard disk, um, not really hard disk, but huge memory to keep all of your downloaded bo- downloaded games. Yeah, this depends on what kind you buy exactly and how big it is. Yeah, I, I remember what uh, Mortal Kombat. Like you bought the physical copy of it, but you still need to download the game. Like what? Oh, that I did not know. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> huh. Uh, but besides that, like you mentioned the Switch. So what are you playing on the Switch? Oh, I'm playing a lot of games. I got the uh, Smash Bros. I have Mario Kart. I have uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's just a few I have because I have so many. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you playing now on the Switch? Uh, just Smash Bros. Because most of my other games I have, it's more fun with friends. <laughs> but right, the only right. problem with that is that me being uh, such a good gamer, you know, not to eat my own horn or anything... But no one likes to play against me because they don't like to lose against me. <laughs> Are you a bad winner? No, I'm not a bad winner. All right, all right, right. So, uh, have you tried to get Tetris 99? Uh, I did try it. I, I have it, actually. Oh, cool. What do you think, man? Like, I want to play Tetris 99 because it seems like a lot of fun. But A, I don't have a Switch. And B, I don't have a Switch. <laughs> well, why would you need two Switches? Hey, I, I you know I want to play those things where I can connect the screen together too. <laughs> <laughs> so that, but that's what a TV is for. It's you know, you're basically connecting two switches to make a big screen TV. But you got a TV, <laughs> no? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <clears throat> but anywho, anywho, um, how is it? Ninety nine. It's it's pretty good. I mean, it's different from. Other Battle Royale games, and yes, I'm calling it Battle Royale because that's what basically Tetris 99 is. The only <laughs> difference is, it's Tetris form. And the only problem is, I haven't even came in first place at all. I'm always close to winning, but I can oh, never man. do it because everyone's teaming up on me. <laughs> What's the highest? The highest I got is second. Oh wow, not bad. That's yeah. good, that's really good. <laughs> I, I, okay, you know, honestly, if I were to get a Switch, if I were to get a Switch... The only reason, if I were to get a Switch, is to play Bayonetta 3. On, uh, I honest, had a like, feeling yeah, you were going to yeah, say that. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be Bayonetta 3. But on top of that, I would love to play Tetris 99, even though it's a free game. God dang it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, maybe Smash Bros. Uh, Ultimate. That's another game I would love to play too. Uh, it's a very great game. Yeah, I have, I have it on the 3DS and... Uh, Wii U, so I played it before. Now it's on the Switch. Like I get to play legacy characters that I've heard that were fun and awesome. Yeah, they basically added everyone and <coughs> adding more characters like the Piranha Plant that people were totally not expecting. <laughs> yeah, and also Joker from Persona 5. Yes, even though I've never heard of that game. <laughs> oh, wow, you have a PlayStation 4 and you haven't heard of it? Man. I've always been an Xbox person. Uh, are you into RPGs? Uh, I mean, does Besides Pokemon, Pokemon? count? <laughs> <laughs> the only RPG I really play is Pokemon. Uh, well, yeah, but... Uh, so you haven't played any of the Final Fantasies then? Nope. Oh, wow. So you know what? I would highly recommend you picking up Final Fantasy VII when it's out for the PlayStation 4. But that's... uh. That's for RPGs, but in all honesty, uh, if you want to have it on the go, hmm, I I don't know, man. Like I I would say ten, but ten's a bit, yeah. I'm not <laughs> sure if I want to recommend ten. Yes, teach me everything about Final Fantasy. <laughs> I I don't know, man. Like I'm not that great, but in terms of having uh dipping your feet in the water, you know what? I guess it goes seven. Seven is the start of people playing Final Fantasy and people enjoying and people thinking it's the greatest game ever. Is it because it's lucky number seven? Not really, because (laughs) it has a lot of awesome characters. Like, you got Cloud, Sephiroth, Tifa, Aerith, and so on. Like, those are the most popular. Like, heck, even Final Fantasy, sorry, even Smash has Cloud. Like, you got no idea who Cloud is, but you do know he's the Final Fantasy seven character, right? Yes, (laughs) If someone would be like, oh, you know Cloud, right? I'm like, yeah, he's from Final Fantasy. Oh, do you know this guy or this person? Nope. 
<laughs> just cloud <laughs> because he's in smash <laughs> yep but yeah i i would say um if it's a i wonder if it's available uh i i think uh let's see if i can google it yeah it is on the switch so yeah. you can buy it man sweet uh, how much is it uh, <laughs> how much is it i got no idea i'll have to check that <laughs> later <laughs> um hmm it's 3.8 gigs. That's all I know. But I got no... Oh, yeah. Buy digitally. Oh, it's uh, $16. Huh. Huh. Okay. Pricey, I guess. I don't know. Eh, maybe a little. Yeah. But it is one of the quintessential RPGs for people to play. People would say go Final Fantasy VI. And mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it could be a better game. But I, I say seven because it's one of those games that defines the generation. Hmm, I'll look into that. <coughs> yeah. If you're, if you're interested in playing RPG, so go, go like that if you have the time. All right. Sounds good. So, yeah, we've been talking about, well, uh, your gaming habits and whatnot. Um, lastly, your PlayStation 4, what do you play on it? I play uh, Overwatch, uh, also GTA 5, um, <laughs> Minecraft. Oh. Uh yeah, I play a lot of games. <laughs> so wait, why? Here's a question: Why did you play Overwatch on the PlayStation Four and not the Xbox? And why do you play GTA on both of them? Well, I play Overwatch on the PlayStation because most of my Xbox friends don't play it. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. And for GTA Five because I have some friends that play GTA Five on the Xbox, and I have some cousins and friends who play it on the PlayStation. <laughs> Oh my god, like, it's okay, but how much did you spend to buy those two games? I, I, well, I, I didn't get GTA, it. I didn't buy GTA 5, my cousin gave it to me as a gift. <laughs> also, so I kind of got the PlayStation version for free. <laughs> so wait, you bought your version on the Xbox? Yes. Alright, alright. So, oh, okay. So, yeah, Overwatch, it seems like we all played it, like, everybody on the crew who accepts Happy... Uh, plays it so how did you get into it like what attracted you to it well for one i like shooters but another it not really confused me but interests me how every single character had their own certain abilities and they have their own special ability or as the people say it they have their special ultimates mm-hmm. and it was cool how each character was different and somehow each character had their specialties and their own weaknesses and you have to strategize around them and whatnot. Uh, true, 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 true. And yeah, I played it since the second beta when it was um, the, well, I think, open beta for the general audience. I played it there and it got me hooked. So I wanted to play it. So I bought the game online and stuff like so, like I, I was really into it, hmm. and Silver seems to be into it too. And yeah, it seems that what you were interested in it too. When did you start? When it first came out, or later on? Mm, later on, if I can remember correctly, though, I think I got into it when. Hmm, I can't exactly remember. I know some a new character, but it wasn't when Sombra arrived. I think it was when someone else arrived, but I can't remember who. Anna? Was it yeah, Anna? I think I think it was. I started playing when she came. Ah, because uh, Anna was the first um, hero that they introduced. Not really first, but the first addition to the crew. Because what uh, I think they needed an extra healer or support back then. Uh, they healer, yeah, healer, or was it support? I forgot. Yeah, no, no, support. Uh, back then they had DPS uh, tank. Uh, support and also healers yeah oh wow they they had four back then and healers they only have lucio zen uh who else lucio zen oh wow i'm blurry mercy <laughs> yeah that's it i know we're mercy. missing someone mercy and who's the other one the new healer no yeah back in the days like oh, before back in the day. came out man i i forgot <laughs> I, I don't have a select screen on me Yes, yeah, so there's Mercy, Lucio, Zen. Maybe those were the only three? 
Ah, we had more because I remember. Uh, wow, that means we have a really small roster because Lucio Mercy Zen and ah yes, it was Sumitra back in the days. Oh, I didn't know she used to heal. Uh, no, she wasn't a healer. She was under the support category. Ah. Because before they streamlined it, they had four categories, which is uh, damage, tank, support, and healers. Uh, mm-hmm. No, it's, it's not that. Like defenders, yes. Defender and uh, DPS. DPS, defenders, tank, and also support. And Sumitra was under... If I'm not mistaken, Sumitra and Torb was under support. Or whatever it is. Like, back in the day, it was so confusing. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun then. Um, What else? Yeah, so you started playing when Anna was first introduced, or... I can't exactly remember. Maybe I played it later on. Maybe when Samba got released. I don't know. I don't exactly remember when I exactly got into Overwatch. <laughs> It's okay. I mean, still, it is a lot of fun because back in the days, Overwatch, like I say, it was a lot of fun. I, I, it's hard for me to um, say anything else because I, I um, hmm, it's hard for me to say. I, I just like it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm still thinking, like processing what to say, what to ask. Because uh, there's a lot of things going on with Overwatch, and I'm still trying to think. What was the roster rules? Because back then they had more than three. I remember four, but what was their splits? Mm, yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, maybe if I sat down and look at it, I, I get no more. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, um, Overwatch. Have you been playing with Silver? Have you tried the chance to play with Silver? Mm, does he have? Does he play on the PlayStation? Yeah. I don't even have him on the PlayStation. Ah, it looks like the three of us need to group up and try to kick ass. Yes, this would probably be an interesting thing for the MVS show. Yeah, but I need yeah, to like, buy the game. Oh, yeah, that's true. But still, you know, MVSG, uh, yeah. MVS Game Night. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, that would be fun. Uh, Silver, you, me, a three-man stack, going, playing, and stuff. The, the three like, amigos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which version? Or the Three Musketeers. Yeah, but there's a fourth one. <laughs> For us, it's everything. <laughs> we don't go into details. Oh, boy. But anywho, yeah. Um, who knows? Maybe we can do that. I feel like I want to do that. We have fun with uh, the three of you, the both of you guys. Yeah, we'll be, we'll have like fun. a guys' night. <laughs> yeah. We'll be like, um, we'll be like uh, Discord, Mike... Um, whoa, I mixed uh, Big Mac and Spike there. This <laughs> Discord Spike. Yeah. And, and also, Big Mac. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we have a side of fries. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah, oh man, like, I, I, I love playing Overwatch. Um, so, on PC, what do you play? I play Team Fortress 2. Oh. I play The Isle. Um... Those are pretty much the only things I play on PC. Like, I have other games too, but I don't play a lot because it's more fun with friends. <laughs> Alright. I-, I noticed that you play Smite on PlayStation 4. Yes, I do. How's that? It's pretty interesting. I mean, we got League of Legends has as a MOBA, but in that, you're mostly just clicking where you want to go and pretty much nothing but clicking but mm. in smite you're not clicking you're actually moving your character and where you're shooting your abilities and stuff and not only that it's not made up characters these are actually these are actually gods like we got oh, yeah. zeus we got thor we got loki yeah i remember that like um the way that smite works with that it's a god based shooter or team based right it's a MOBA like FP, no FPS, like third person sh- shooter. Yeah, third person right? view, yeah. Yeah. And if I do remember right, they have, or they introduced Jason David Frank. Yes, they did. He's in one of the skins. He's, oh, he's, he's a um, skin. Yeah, he's not an actual god, but he does voice a skin for Poseidon. Ah. Like, yeah, I remember that. Like, he. 
put it on his uh, Instagram or whatever it is. Like, like he's here's me in the role. Like, yeah. So, th- how does skin work? Do you need to buy it or? You yes, need... you need to buy skins, but some are actually free. Oh, okay. So, did you buy the Jason David Frank skin? No. Oh, you, you don't. You don't use Poseidon at all, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> okay, understandable. Poseidon's all right, but when I face him, you could say I get a bit salty. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Can't say much. I mean, I don't play the game, so I don't really know. Yeah, I think that's about it. So, on PC, you don't play much, but you still play Team Fortress with friends too? Yes. You do like the shooters, don't you? Oh yeah, you know, you gotta shoot at things and kill them, right? I mean, uh, not kill them. Um... Uh, more like uh, um, what, what's the what's the more nice way of killing? Send him to the shadow realm. Eh, I guess I could work. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So as for me, uh, let's see. Uh, I I personally only have well, active is my PlayStation Four and my PC. So that's the only two I have right now. I have a Wii U, but I don't really play it. Well, who plays a Wii U nowadays? <laughs> All the people who have it. Yeah, don't <laughs> judge me. Anyway, uh, I also have a PlayStation 3, but it's not plugged in. So, yeah. So, those are the only two that I have. Right? Sorry. Um, yeah, those are the only consoles I have. Also, 3DS and whatnot. But still, I uh, don't really play it that much. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I only play PS4 and PC. As for what I've been playing lately, uh, I still haven't finished Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, oh, played. how's that going? I like it. Like, uh, in all honesty, I never really played Resident Evil that much. Like, Resident Evil 2 in the uh, PlayStation 1 days. Like, I played it a bit, but didn't really hook my interest because of the way that the games played. Like, it wasn't really auto-aim, was hard to control and whatnot. Like, uh, nah, it wasn't a kind of my game. So, didn't really play much of it. And when the remake came out, I decided to borrow a friend's game and try to play it. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, the horror aspect, like, it really, really is going back to the root of horror instead of its adventure root or action roots. So you need to um, maintain your ammo count, make sure you kill things that you really need to kill and don't they go willy-nilly and stuff. So, Resident Evil 2 Remake is a lot of fun. So, if you are a fan of the series, I would say try it out. It's a lot of fun. And since the game came out a while now, I'm guessing you can get it for the cheaps on your local game store. Oh, probably. Other than that, uh, Street Fighter Five for the PlayStation 4. And yeah, I, I like playing Street Fighter. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, I see you play Street Fighter sometimes when I'm on. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that's because I just want to do for the weekly grind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because what? Uh, they, they have this thing where each week they will release part of a skin. So you need to go hunting for it or grinding or farming. It's not really that bad. You just play against the computer, you win over them, and then you get parts. And then after four weeks, you get all of the skins parts and you get a skin yay oh wow so it's not that bad you just need time and dedication yeah so yeah i just need to do that every week sometimes there's nothing so i can just relax but sometimes those skins are really really awesome so do you play street fighter or do you play any fighting games Mm, not recently not recently what was the last one you played mortal kombat mm, x i believe Oh, 10. Yeah. <coughs> I would like it. On the PlayStation or Xbox? Both. Oh. <laughs> but, I never, but I never owned the game. Like, oh. I'd always play it off of my brother or my friend. Ah. So, you're not really a big uh, fighter then? Well, does Smash Bros. count as a fighter game? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's just Smash yeah, and then Smash only then. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Street Fighter and Resident Evil and PlayStation 4 right now. And probably a lot of Devil May Cry. So, yeah, 
as for now, I'm waning off the PlayStation for a bit and going a bit more on PC. And as for PC, I've been playing a lot of Overwatch. And, well, everybody knows that I play Overwatch, so there's nothing new there. Uh, the other one that's kind of new is I've been playing Dark Souls 3. Oh. And I have to say that I like it. I, I kind of mm, am going through it non-stop. Like, the punishment and difficulty of the game is really attracting me. Like, it's hard, but once you get it, it's very gratifying. But no, uh, in all honesty, uh, the game is difficult. Like, it, it doesn't hold your hand while playing. No, no, no. But once you get to know the patterns, once you get calm and good enough or just calm enough to just wipe the floor out of the monsters or whatever it is, it's that gratification. And especially like beating the boss, like, oh yeah, that's so good. And then other than that, like, um, I'm just thinking, like, other than our Dark Souls, uh, that's about it for now. I, I, I'm just, I don't play much on the PC. Like, it's either Overwatch or whatever interests my, whatever tickles my interest at the time. Like, I, I do have a few games on Steam. Like, <laughs> God only knows, uh, I buy a lot of games, especially if there's sales. Like, if there's a sale and it's on my wish list, I'll buy it. Oh, just wait until the summer sales. <clears throat> yeah, but at the same time too, I'm not going to buy everything because, oh god, I still have a lot of games here. Like, I, did you know that I bought Bayonetta? <laughs> no, really? I just assumed that you'd never bought a Bayonetta game. <laughs> on the PC, I bought it on the PlayStation 3. I bought it on the Wii U. And God only knows that I'm going to buy it again on the Switch. <laughs> so yeah, oh god, I, I like Bayonetta. Uh, I ship it. <laughs> Yay. Oh, but Bayo, man, like, <laughs> you guys know, you guys know, I'm not gonna go into it. Like, there's no silver, there's no sap piece, so yeah, there's no point. <laughs> yeah, I can't really say Bayonetta without having silver or sapphire here. Yeah. Uh, I need to creep them out too. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I, I think that's about it. Like, is there anything you want to ask, man? No, I don't have any questions about video games. Oh, hmm. I do have one though. Hmm, what is it? Um, oh, I I was about to ask, but you don't have a Switch. But uh, what do you think of the new Pokemon Sword Shield coming out soon? That's interesting. I, I do like the uh region that they're going for. The instead of uh, Japan, they're going to England. So that's cool. Mm-hmm. And going to England and sw- and flipping it upside down. So, our main protagonist is from Scotland. And so, that's going to be cool. <laughs> Do you think the game's going to be voice acted? That would actually be pretty cool if it was. Yeah, but here's the thing. Uh, if it's in Japanese, whatever, right? But if it's in English, dang, that means your main protagonist is going to speak Scottish. <laughs> it, they have to, right? Like, come on. Yeah, they have to do it. But I'm thinking, right, probably not, just because of the fact that they need to add in those voice lines. So, for saving space, probably they won't. What do you think? I honestly, I I don't know. I mean, the best I could say is wait until the game comes out to see what they do, because it's not like we're the creators of the games. Yeah, true. But still, one can ponder, because... It's on the next gen, and this is their quote-unquote first time making a Pokemon game on the console, right? Mm-hmm. Well, honestly, I, I hope that the character does talk. I mean, sure, if they speak Scottish, then, you know, they speak Scottish. But for me, in the past few games, your character's always silent. Like, no matter what's happening, your character's always silent. Like, sure, you can say a simple yes or no, but oh. your character doesn't really talk. Yeah, yeah, now, now that you mention it. Uh, your main protagonist doesn't really say that much or at mm, all. Like, if, if something bad's happening, like, I remember doing the um, Pokemon Sun or Moon theme, uh, Sun Moon theme, Sun and Moon game, uh, if something bad was happening, your character will just stand there with a smile on his face with no <laughs> expectation of him being worried. Like, so it's like, oh, no, Lily's being captured. I'm just going to stay here with a smile on my face. <laughs> Think positive. Think positive. <laughs> Yeah, think positive, man. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Or maybe he's just evil inside and he's just <laughs> letting it be, but he's playing out as the hero, but he could be the true villain. <laughs> yeah, I think it wasn't there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, by the way, um, what do you think of the Pokemon uh, Mewtwo Strike Back remake? No, no, Mewtwo Strike Back. The first Pokemon movie remake. Yeah, Mewtwo Strikes Back. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. what do you think of that one? Yeah, remakes are fine, but... I mean, the way they're doing it now... I mean, the mo- some of the models look good, but then some of the models... Eh, especially with Ash. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I kind of am interested in it. Like, it'll be fun to go back in time and blah, blah, blah. And the characters are in 3D, by the way. So that's going to be huge. Like, this is the first time where we get a Pokemon movie where our characters are in full 3D. That's true. So yeah, that'll be interesting. And this is not the worst that Ash got. Like, remember how his evolution from character design to character design in each game? And then Sunny mm-hmm. Moon came out? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, not the worst, I guess. Only one way to find out when it actually comes out. True, 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 true. Uh, yeah, but still, you gotta catch Detective Pikachu, man. I know, I, I gotta try to catch him, but he's such a good detective that I can't seem to find him. I mean, watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, if, you, if you mean watch the movie, then yes, I plan to. Oh man, you gotta, man. It's a, lot, it's a lot of fun. Like, I watched it, and I feel like it is a awesome first try. And I do understand that they want to make a whole uh, Pokemon movie world. Like the MCU, but this one is kind of the Pokemon movie universe. Mm-hmm. So who knows? Like probably they'll just make more. Uh, not sure which one they're gonna pick because Detective Pikachu is awesome by itself. Uh, and also, wait, uh, if I do remember right, they did mention in the movie Kanto region. So that means, like, uh, we might get Ash. Who knows? Mm, maybe I know they referenced him in the game. Who? Oh, you mean the, the, the Pikachu Detective game? Pikachu? Yeah. Oh, really? Now, what did they say? What did they say? Well, in the game, uh, the the um, uh, I forget the boy's name. I think his name's Tim. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, in the game, Tim encounters a Pikachu, but he doesn't have the hat on. But he mistakes Pikachu for Detective Pikachu. Mm-hmm. But then Detective P- Pikachu comes along, saying, "Hey, what's taking so long?" And he looks at the Pikachu, and he's like, "You didn't mistake this Pikachu for me, did you?" And he's like, "Well, you both look the same." <laughs> so D- D- Detective Pikachu's talking to the other Pikachu, and Pikachu's you know talking Pokemon, going Pika Pikachu, this uh-huh. and that, and he's talking about really. And then Pikachu keeps talking, and then Detective Pikachu's like. Oh, well, t- uh, I hope I hope you and your friend work things out. Uh, tell your friend I wish him to be the very best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they're referencing Ash from, so you know, because you want to be the very best like no one ever was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. So it, it's not a real clear cut reference to Ash then. <clears throat> but it kind of looks like, it kind of feels like that he is referencing it. Uh, all right. All right. Then you are going to enjoy Detective Pikachu, man. Like, there's that one scene where Pikachu is doing something and then you're gonna, uh, you're gonna feel for him. You know, the thing I get worried if I'm gonna watch Detective Pikachu is that after I watch Detective Pikachu, I'm gonna expect to walk out of the movie theaters and see Pokemon all over me. (laughs) (laughs) One can wish. Okay, here's, here's a just random question. Like, uh, if, uh, okay, to establish the world of Detective Pikachu, everybody who, is in that universe has a Pokemon partner, like uh, how um, Ash's mom she has her Mister Mime and mm-hmm. stuff. So like uh, each person has a Pokemon partner. So as in for you, who would your Pokemon partner be? Torterra. Really? You want the big um, Pokemon to be your Pokemon partner? Yeah, who wouldn't like to have a big... Po- well, actually, I mean, everyone has their differences and everything, but I would like to have Torterra as my partner, or maybe uh, the second evolution, Grotto. <laughs> ah, all right, all right. Uh, for me, I don't know. I mean, I've been thinking about this, uh, believe it or not, quite a lot, and I do have a few, but in all honesty, I probably would like to have either a Blaziken or a Lupony. Oh. Because at least they're, what, humanoid, so... It's much easier to get them around the house. Oh my god. 
What? What are you thinking about? No, just when you, like, I, I, I mean, that's your option, right? I, I, I <laughs> thought you were going to say, like, if you're feeling down, you could always give him a hug. And they no, can hug like, you back. That's one, but just think about it, like, uh, okay, having Pikachu probably is more, more awesome and stuff, but right? still, um, a human right Pokemon would be easy to have around the house because they don't sprawl on the floor and whatnot. They can just sit on the couch, uh, they can sleep in their bed and whatnot. I mean, it's, to me, in my mind, it'll be much easier to have them around. I don't, I don't want a Pikachu because if my mind, well, I mean, it, it looks like it, but you ever heard the game Hey You Pikachu? Uh, I I heard about it. Like, okay, why? What's wrong? It's an N64 game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But basically, in the game, you befriend a wild Pikachu, mm-hmm. and you bring him into your house. Like, you're obviously friends with this Pikachu now. But basically, he brings him to your house, and there'll be moments where you give him something, but he'll just throw it away. Be like, here, Pikachu, play with this toy. Nope, he throws it away. <laughs> or there'll be times where he goes to a tissue box and starts ripping everything off, and it brings me <laughs> back memories of my cats going at my toilet paper. <laughs> And there, there, I, I swear, there's one moment where I think Pikachu is throwing his own poop at you. <laughs> Are you sure it's not a man key? No, it's literally, it has like a little stink cloud and everything. <laughs> I'll show you later. <laughs> <laughs> what Pikachu game are you playing? <laughs> That's the N64. That game was for little kids, though. <laughs> Okay, man, like, right. Yeah, if you say so. <laughs> <coughs> Alrighty then. So, you know what? I, I think we've reached our limit, and I think we're gonna die. <laughs> so, anywho. Uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at individualgmail.com. And you can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at NBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Tara, where can the good people find you? Well, the people can find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Tortera1324. And they can also look me up on Patreon with the same name, Tortera1324. Awesome, awesome. Go ahead, guys, and go to all those links and also support Tara on Patreon because he's an awesome dude and he needs his support too. Yay, yay. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also Stitch Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyFlife.com. Links are in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Jeffrey, and also myself, like, thank you so much, guys. You're great. And yeah, I'm just going to say it here. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for listening to us babble on about video games. I, I know it's not what we normally talk about, but we had to fill in time for Silver and Seppi to come back. And we, we don't want to leave you hanging. So this is one of those things that we thought about. Hey, um, maybe this maybe this conversation will interest you guys. And if it did, awesome. Uh, share your thoughts with us. Tell us what you like. Tell us what games you play and stuff. Because it's clearly like Terra here likes a lot of shooters. I here have a bit of a variety of what I play. But mostly it's the same thing. Fighters, shooters, and action, and uh, adventure games, something like that. So yeah, I, I, I'm broad and whatnot. But I still keep to those games that I play every week. Like Street Fighter came out, what? Um, 2000 and... 14 was it? I don't exactly remember. <laughs> Let's see, the game is in front of me. I, I think I can find the year of it if I can find it. Like, what year you came out, game? Yeah, maybe I can see it in its. It'll be easy if I go to Google. <laughs> um, uh, six, 2016, really? Huh, okay. So, 16, so it's now nine. Three years now, huh? That's interesting. Hmm. Huh. <clears throat> I've been playing the same game for three years now. Hmm. <laughs> and also Overwatch. Overwatch is 16 too. Oh my goodness. I, oh wow. I am so boring. <laughs> <laughs> I need to play more variety of games. Maybe I'll go play Magic the Gathering. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so anyway, I have been Norman Sanzu. 
I've been Torterra. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the show. See ya! Bye-bye!